What's up, everybody? I'm too hyped. I'm too hyped. I'm too hyped. Feel my hype. <laughs> you know what? Have you been? Guess you're doing okay. This week, we're about to drown you in another pool of entertainment. So much entertainment, drama on the internet. If you don't want to miss out, don't go anywhere. You remember how in one of our previous episodes, I did mention that Jovi has been silent for quite a while and he came to release one of his songs starting this year. Yes, he's been silent. When we talk about silence, we're talking about social media because in the year 2020, <laughs> he just kept the vibe going back to back and back to back and back to back as far as social media is concerned. When he gets on his keyboard to tweet, nobody can really stop him. But this time, of course, it's about Jovi and the Sakodi fans again. You remember last time we did an episode putting these two to comparison because of course there was this whole beef and stuff that was going on on the internet and people are like, who is better? Who is bigger? <laughs> this time, something happened and I'm here to dissect all of that for you. So recently, Inside Africa, a blog on the internet, published a list of top 20, top 20 African rappers. And yes, guess who was stopping the list? Sakodi, Sakodi of Ghana. <laughs> And guess who number 11 was? Jovi, yes. Jovi of Cameroon. The artist or the rapper, Cameroonian rapper Jovi Le Mans, however, came to same Twitter after seeing this list, published his own list of top 10 African rappers, and the top on his list was African rapper number one, no. M.I. will be microphone magic channel. Yes, it was M.I. Yes, and scrolling all the way down to number 10, he put Sakodi there. Yes, in brackets, he put King. Acknowledging the fact that Sakodi made that list, but Sakodi comes at 10. Jovi also went ahead to add that the reason why he's not on that list is because he made the list himself. But however, he omitted some places on the list and said the list is still loading. Yeah, lo and behold, these things never get to fans rightly. Some people came to backfire and say that, that Spotify wasn't even in West Africa for so long. In fact, Spotify has not been in West Africa at all. But people like Sakodi have had amazing, amazing, crazy streams on Spotify. <laughs> you don't want to know what Jovi's reply was. Jovi said when it comes to streams, he, Sakodi, is like... Britney Spears and he, Jovi, is like Laurie Neal. <laughs> In fact, when you want to look at all of that comparison, your mind, you're like, what's going on here? Some of you who are just born yesterday, you probably not understand, but if you go and check the numbers of Laurie Hill on Spotify, you notice that she's about 9 million monthly streams, while Britney Spears is about um, 20 million streams per month. But in real sense, who is the real legend? Who is considered the real legend? I mean, you, can, you, can you get the picture? Of course, even though Lauren Hill has the lesser number of streams, she is like the bigger legend compared to the music industry because she's been there and she's been doing this work back to back and stuff. People came to attack Jovi, but there are some Ghanaians who actually didn't take it lightly. You know how they say, do not dry your dirty linen in public for others to see. Yes, but there's a Ghanaian fan who came to say, you know what, Jovi, forget all of what these people are saying. I'm a Ghanaian and Sakodi does not have lyrics at all. Jovi was like, what? Tell me more, boy. Tell me more. <laughs> this internet is crazy. And I like it how Cameroonians are always like, no, we like to batch our own. We don't like to support our own. We always look for all of the negative that is happening online. Sometimes it's actually really not negativity. Sometimes it's fact. Maybe this Ghanaian is actually stating facts. Do we actually hear what Sakodi says in their dialect? We don't. We can't really tell if those things are lyrical power or not. But of course, a Ghanaian is right there saying, you know what? Sakodi just babbles. He does not have as much lyrics. I don't know where that is from, but inside Africa put Sakodi at the top as far as top rappers of 2020 to 2021 are concerned. You know, many people are also making comparisons with the fact that Jovi is ranting on social media because he cannot even be in collaborations with people like Sakodi, that he should get himself a collaboration, pay some good money, and stop making noise about Sakodi or always attacking Sakodi on the internet. You know what Jovi said? Jovi said that he has done songs with people who are bigger than Sakodi. He even said that he has a song in his laptop with Whiskey. Yes, we are talking about Starboy. And this song was produced by him sometime in 2011 and that Jovi said he didn't release the song. Is this fact? Of course. When you read thefather.com, a blog online, 
they had an interview with Jovi in 2016. And in 2016, Jovi stated the fact that, of course, he did do a collaborative song with Whiskey. He did produce a song, a collaboration, of course, with New Bell and, of course, Whiskey. We didn't know for sure if this song was with Jovi or one of Jovi's artists, but, of course, Jovi did do a song with Whiskey. He didn't put out the song because he said in the interview, that of course this song he didn't think that it was going to bring him the kind of vibe that he wanted not the vibe on the song but he didn't think that he was going to achieve anything particular from putting out that song back in the time because what he was trying to build was something else yes and lo and behold in 2021 all of that information surfaced to the internet because he put it out himself and i was saying you know what guys you want me to do a collaboration with sakori no no i already did collaborations with people who are bigger than him i have songs of whiskey and uh, of course my label i produce a song it's on my laptop i've never wanted to release it but you fans if you want to listen to it we can preview it on the internet we're not going to release the song but we'll preview it on the internet as concerns the song Jovi did with Whiskey back in 2011 he plans to preview it and of course the Mboko Gang fans followers of Jovi have chosen 7 p.m. on Friday and he's planning to preview the song of course I needed to know it's not a release he's just going to preview it on a live video so of course keep that date and don't miss out one of the things that really got me laughing and putting my mind I was like all over the place as far as this video is concerned is one of the fans still came to attack Jovi and be like you know what Sakodi had streams from foreign places and instead of you making noise on the internet stop giving excuse for your L yeah you don't know what L is stop giving excuses for your losing and Jovi came to say <laughs> Jovi said when it comes to skills I am like Jesus and he's like the tax collector in the Bible he was definitely richer the tax collector was definitely richer Jesus had no excuse to be poor he's the son of God so Jovi in real sense what Jovi is saying that when it comes to skill Sakodi is like the tax collector and he, Jovi, is like Jesus, mm -hmm. the son of God. Mm -hmm. Because the son of God was poor, mm -hmm. Sakodi is rich. So what are we trying to pull out of this? Is Jovi trying to say he is not that rich? Mm? Even though he has better skills, even though he can perform miracles? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Stick to me, man of God. You know, but that's what's going on in the internet, man. All of this craze and fight and stuff, Jovi still put Sakodi on his list and named him king. That's one thing that you need to understand. Like I stated before in one of my videos, when it comes to rap, one of the cultures of rap is ego. People saying they're the best or whatever it is. And this is the reason why there has been a lot, a lot of violence as far as hip hop and rap is concerned. But being egoistic and having bragging rights is just part of hip hop. However, Jovi made his own top 10 list and put Sakodi on the list. I know sometimes people are like crazy and saying things like, hey, this is just hate. Uh, you don't want him. But what if Jovi didn't actually really outline Sakodi on his top 10 list? Will you now explode the internet or what? Do you think that that is still glorifying the great Sakodi or not? That's all we had for you this week. If you love our show and you love what we're giving you every week, do not forget to click in that red button below and follow us on our social media platforms. Remember to share this show. Leave a comment in the comment section below. You know how it is. We're always here to give you what's hot and what's not. It's your ever smiling boy. Man, if you know, show me. Man, pass man. No man, no pass me. If you know man, wait, pass me. Show me. I don't say nothing. Bad if you know, I'm show me. I don't say nothing. Bad if you know, I'm show me. Man, pass man. Cute face. Big waist. The way she wind it fast, she needs space. The way she wind it fast, she need bricks. Time to do for waste, oh boy, I don't crease. You want your bunny fish? Put down for my bill. Quack, cocoa, Bible. Put down for my bill. Bubble up, fuck me. Put down for my bill. Drink the edge of the vessel. So put down for my bill. Chime. I shall know the flop. Yes, yes. Gotta know the flop. He had shine like pop. She know the used cups. She drinks straight from the pot. So when we up in the club, so the things where we do after, I know we talk. Master young man, don't judge me. You know be God. You go shock money in a walk. No be gambling, no be luck. I get bumped for my pocket. Oh boy, no be no mop. Like you use cafe, you know be past me. Like you use paper, you know be past me. In your diary.